at all. Oh, that's pretty clicky, isn't it? Uh, right, as I said, I'm in the office now. So what I want to do is I want to try and give you some rough overviews of how the, the CX, the desktop version works. Um, yeah, so it's just going to be fairly vague. But to start with, I just thought I'd give you a rough idea of how it works and how I tend to use it from my own personal point of view, because with a Sunday Q&A, um, then hopefully, if anyone's saying, Pete, you're doing it wrong, they can tell me I'm doing it wrong. And if anyone out there doesn't quite understand how to do it, they can do it too. So the way I tend to do it, say, for example, this is my point of view from running the truck. So if you're out in a van and you've got um, maybe someone back in a base, the Oracle in the chair, and they want to run you, so you don't have to be looking at the screen all the time, they can send you your jobs through. You've got the, the dashboard here. The main thing that I tend to use, I'll be honest with you, is loads. So you click on loads. Now it's the Sunday morning, so this is going to give you a rough idea of what's out there. Now I'd say, for example, I needed um, a load for one of my lorries on Monday morning, so I hadn't got a job. As it turns out, it's busted at the moment, so it might be worth me looking at this to see if there's something coming up when it gets repaired. My default setting here is that's our base, Dunstable, and my default setting down here is seven and a half to 18 ton. And at the moment I've got it on any time, but if I want it today is Sunday, so if I want to record tomorrow, that will show me jobs coming out for tomorrow. You can also sometimes say, for example, you wanted to pick a, a one for um, next week, you can set a date range, which is quite handy. So for example, I might to find a job, I needed a particular job for Wednesday, I could set from Wednesday through to Wednesday. I doubt that there's actually a job, it's ADR, but it's on there. Um, yeah, that's something that's not so easy to do on the CX, um, on, on, the, on the phone. It says, say, one day, two day, tomorrow, next 10 days, any time. But we'll get rid of that for now. So, yeah, that's what I tend to do. This is why I tend to, so I would then scroll down the jobs, work out where they were coming from, where they're going to, and, um, and then you can put the quote in there accordingly. Or, of course, you can give them a ring and say, got a truck in the area. How does this kind of money sound? And then if the jobs come through, then you go to diary, which is here. Bosh, and that will give you a list of jobs that you have done, jobs that are coming up, that kind of thing. So you can actually work out what's there, what's been delivered, that kind of thing. So they're the two main things that I tend to use. Other bits, I mean, your directory, if for any reason you have to contact a shipper, you go in here and you either type the shipper's name or their CX number in there um, and that will bring up all the information that you kind of need to contact the shipper and you can ring them for some reason, say for example they're late paying an invoice or something like that, I've jumped ahead there. Um, this bit here is live availability. That's, say for example you get a phone call and one of, I get a phone call from one of my customers, they say right I need a van in a hurry. Um, I'm in Dunstable, we need a van in a hurry, it's got to go to Stratford-on-Avon. You can go to the map on live availability, you can sort of scroll in and out with your little mouse key here, um, and you can see what vans are available in the area. You can click it in here, all that kind of stuff. I don't tend to use live availability because um, when people have always done it with me when I was in the van, and they run me up and say, oh, I noticed that you're empty in Slough, and I go, oh, no, I'm not empty. I'm actually full, or actually I'm going home, mate. Or they turn around and go, oh, well, okay, no, I am empty, yes, I am free. Okay, you all right to go to Wales? No? It's just I would much rather do it on the quotes thing, on the, um, the loads thing. Also, from the point of view of uh, loads, you see up there, we've got two things here, post load and book direct. Post load is if one of my customers ring me up and I want to post the load so that, you know, we get quotes in. I'll show you that one on a separate video. Book direct, I'll also show you on a separate video. That's if one of our customers ring us and I want to put one of my lorries on it, I can actually book the job directly and so the job still appears on the CX so the driver gets all the information through the CX and all that kind of stuff and it also goes onto the diary which is handy from the invoicing point of view um, without me having to sort of email it over him or text it over to him, that's quite a useful feature. Uh, my fleet will show you where the lorries are. Unfortunately, according to this, I believe uh, those that have got their trackers on, they're all back at base, which is exactly where they should be on a Sunday. Return journeys, you, if, you've, if you're going up to Edinburgh on Tuesday and you know you're coming back, you can type in Edinburgh, you can type in the location, it will show you what's coming back. I don't tend to use it. Maybe I should, but, but I don't, because we tend to do short order trucks. 
I don't tend to know where one lorry's going to be from one moment to the next. So the whole idea, that's probably for people that on regular routes and stuff like that, that might be a bit more useful. Um, quotes there will show you what has been sent and what, have you, what, you've, what quotes I've sent through, which is handy sometimes when people ring me up and they say, if I'm bidding on four or five jobs, or I could be bidding on four or five jobs for four or five lorries. I can have 20 quotes on here. And they go, you quoted on my job. And I'm going, did I? Which one? So you can click on quotes, you can scroll down. There's nothing on there at the moment because it's a Sunday. And go, oh, yeah, yeah, you know, ready to Oxford. Yeah, we can do that. Or, sorry, that lorry's booked. Right, I've got, should have wiped that one off. Freight vision. I think is some kind of fancy thing which just uh, is an extra bit which would, it tracks the vehicles and tells you if they're late and that stuff. I haven't got it. And drivers and vehicles are pretty much self-explanatory. So like I say, I have been doing this for a million years. I haven't been in the office for a very long time but I just wanted to give you guys an overview. And one of the guys turned around and said, do we see loads? You know, and then we buy the loads and then we move them onto the, the, uh, the other people, the van drivers, the actual couriers, at an inflated price. It doesn't work that way. If, I, if you went on loads now, not that, you know, if I go on loads, you know, this is what this is what it's saying is available in the Dunsmore area. If when I was a van driver and I, if I had the lorry driver app and I went on loads, I would see on the app exactly the same thing. You would see exactly the same thing as we see. So it's not like we're getting the jobs at a cheaper price and moving on to the vans. The jobs are there for everyone to bid on, whether it's a shipper like me, because I'm a shipper now, or whether it's just a courier driver in a van like I was, that's kind of the way it works. So that just gives you a rough idea. I'm just going to give you a quick overview of how it goes. And then hopefully, if, you, if there's any questions that you've got, obviously, please stick them in the Sunday Q&A. And I want to drill into a few bits and a few more details, like, for example, how to post a load on the desktop, how to post a load on the phone, which I don't know if I've ever done, um, and how to put direct on the desktop. So I'm going to go and try to edit this now. Fingers crossed it works. I hope that gives you a little peek behind a velvet curtain, you know, shows you what's going on out there, and I hope it helps you take care and take money.